Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and today we'll be continuing my playthrough of Banished, a colonial charter mod. So, the last episode went quite badly, a lot of people died, but um, yeah, it was the first year, and the houses weren't quite ready for winter time yet, because it started freezing in like mid-autumn, and uh, yeah, we were only left with um, basically three families and uh, a, a few children. Domington is going to grow up pretty soon, so that's good. He'll move in with Odellison and we'll have our fourth family. I started with four families originally, so... It's, uh... We're in year number two. Almost year number three. So it took us about three years to recover from all the deaths. But, um... Yeah, we'll do fine. These are the citizens of Sickville, and we are a sturdy, hardy people. We know how to fight. We'll survive. And, um... We'll thrive, too at some point in time. <laughs> it's gonna take a bit of time, but we'll get there, eventually. Alright, so I ordered the construction of a town hall so that we might get some nomads. Um, yeah, we've got some lumber that we need for it, so we'll restart the process of building up some lumber in the saw pit over here. So far we've only got 12, but um, he's working or she is working on more, so that's fine. It's gonna take some time, because we need like 105 lumber, so that's quite a lot, but, you know, patience, patience will be rewarded eventually. In the meantime, we've gathering, we're gathering some uh, herbs and onions, ginger, blueberries, all that kind of stuff over in the gatherer's hut. That should be enough food just to provide for these three families, or four families that, that we'll have eventually. Tomington has become an adult and is working as a laborer, so he should have, yeah, he moved in with Dallison. That's fine, they'll get a baby soon enough. But then the next children we have, we have Rylin of five years old and Laniel of four years old. So it's going to be another, another five years at least, or six years before they, um, they are grown up and can move into a house of their own. So we'll have to wait for that a bit. Strangely enough, the, the years of the people pass by a little faster than the years of um, of all the um, seasons. I don't know exactly the math for it, but they grow older in... It, it's kind of like these people have dog years instead of human years, and like this is then the, the human year, but they have like a few years in that one year of uh, four seasons. It's a little bit strange. I don't know exactly how that math works out, but um, yeah, they'll grow up faster then um, we don't have to wait five or six years in, in this, um, you know, we don't have to wait for six springs, basically. That's fine. Daniel has grown a little bit older, Rylin. They're a nice close age, actually. They're probably only a few months apart, so... That's a lot better than most of these other... Uh, people have, like 14 and 17, that's fine, that's fine. Then 29 and 23, it's okay as well. But you get some really bad and odd pairings in this game, like, you, you'll get children of 12 married to, like, 40-year-old people and stuff like that. Like, I told, I talked about this in the last episode as well, it's just the way the, the game's math works. I think some people got upset about the idea that, like, a 40 or 50 year old man can be married to a, like a 12 year old girl and they'll have children and stuff because you know we would be horrified if that happens in the real world now right for good reasons too the reserve of food is getting low really oh well, let's um up one uh one gatherer so we have a maximum amount of people working there we'll have only one laborer but that's fine for now i suppose this is going to be a slow game for a while, so let's um, let's speed up the simulation a bit by 10. Because there's nothing really we can do at the, at the moment. I might order the construction of a fishery as well, actually. That might help with some food production, if we need it. So... The fishing dock. Where do I want to put it? Because... Like I said in the previous episode, you need like as big of a exposure to water as you can possibly get, so... 
this might be an okay place. I was thinking about this place as well, actually, but now that I look at it, it doesn't look quite as good as I imagined it would be. And this might look a little bit better, actually. But then it's also a really far, or a really long distance to, to walk, you know, so maybe... Maybe I'll go for a hunting cabin instead. I can place it right next to the, um, the gatherer's hut. Doesn't require a whole lot of uh, materials either, so we'll have enough to build those. Looks like we have enough firewood for the winter, 117, so the wood the woodcutter will actually work as a laborer from now on as well, until the firewood starts to get used up again, and he gets below his threshold, and then he'll go back to work and create more. That's, um... Yeah, let's pause this one for now. And then increase the priority of the uh, of the hunting cabin. It's only two people that can that can start to work there actually, so that's a little bit annoying. And also another change, I was I, this just popped into my head because uh, you can follow these people around and see what they do on their daily routine, and they'll go to the storage barn to to gather food and stuff, and bring it to their house, and then they go back to work and stuff like that. And that's Okay, but it's, it's going to take time out of their working schedule, you know, and that's quite inconvenient sometimes if you want to hurry something up. So I was thinking maybe it would have been nice for the children to, to come and get the food, you know, like they just get assigned by their parents to do it. Uh, looks like Domington and Adelison have a baby now, two years old already, so still only a year free. They can see that the math is going a little bit, a little bit wonky. <laughs> Daniel is getting older, Rylan as well. See, I think they, they get like four years in one year. They might grow one year older with every season, maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway, it would, would have been nice if these children had like a, a function that they could do until they grow up, because they're just useless mouths to feed at the moment. You know, they don't do anything except walk around and play. Which is fine, you know, for children. Children should be able to do that normally but we're in a survival situation we need all hands on deck and i don't think it's too much to ask for them to go to the supermarket you know and get some food <laughs> in this case the supermarket being a storage barn that's free for everyone but oh well mine ginger yeah we desperately need some more food production now because they eat quite a lot like they have some in they have a lot of food in the inventory so they're not going they're not going to be starving right away but uh, it, it never feels good to be this low in, in your stockpile you know, we need some need some food happening pretty soon. Early winter again. And still not a whole lot of construction going on, so I'm curious to see what my builder is doing actually. Picking up resources. Ah, they're just gathering up all the iron I suppose. What is our laborer doing? Happiness. She is very unhappy. Wow. Health is going down as well. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to click these little screens, especially at like a time ten, times ten speed, you know. Of course, um, all of these people are probably very unhappy because a lot of people died and they don't have um, a graveyard to put the people in, so that will negatively affect their happiness. Their health is also going down a bit, so I really hope to get this um, hunting cabin started pretty soon. What is our... I kind of want to keep track of our builder and see what she is doing with Dallas and picking up resources. So yeah, she's still mining up all the, the resources that I that I said I wanted to have picked up. Not a whole lot of happen. Not a whole lot happening right now. What is our um, what color doing? Where this is you? Two wood cutters, so we have gathering food, Rylin. Ah, did she grow up? Yep, okay, so they grew up. I need to have another house. Let's um, unpause this one. I want them to get in their own house as soon as possible so they can start breeding. <laughs> it's such a nasty word for it, but that's uh, basically what they are to me right now. They're breeders. I need more people. I need more laborers and 
workers and everything. <laughs> Let's uh, made it, make another builder over here. Looks like they increased the... Um, actually, like the hunting cabin was a priority at first. Then I increased this one a little bit as well and it's closer. So that's why they're doing this one now, I suppose. <coughs> Sorry about that. Maybe they just want to get busy. That might be the other explanation right there. Laniel and Rylin. Firewood and no food. <laughs> Luckily we still have some stored in here. Alright, so all the materials have been brought to the hunting cabin as well. That's, that's good. Hopefully the builders will start to get to work soon. Yep, there they are. And the hunting cabin has the added benefit of providing hides as well, so they will have stuff that I can make clothes out of. Right, let's uh, reduce our builder to one. Let's make two hunters and have one laborer, one builder, and then, yeah, this, this should be fine for now. It gives us some extra food, a little bit more variety. The average health is really going down, so I need some meat. Oh yeah. I just found out that if I press spacebar, everything pauses. That's actually quite useful. Alright, next up I might make some houses over here. Or just over on the, the south side of the road. Because then, um, the people that work here, they will start to live in those houses. They will be closer to work and then they don't have to work, walk this entire distance all the time. But how's our uh, planks looking? Lumber, 40. And it's at a maximum. Wow, really? So it says we have 426 materials. I'm still not sure what those materials are though. I guess maybe the reeds are a material as well? I have no idea. It's like one thing that this mod is a little bit vague about. But let's uh, unpause the, the town hall again. Uh, that's uh, 160 venison, that's good. Five leather. So the leather for now will just get stored, nobody's actually doing anything with it. But that's fine. Maybe we can use it to sell later on. Like I'm going to have to make a trader somewhere on this river. And then, yeah, that will be fine. Right, we need some more woods, or um, trees cut down. Let's also reduce the speed back to times 5. I think that's the best speed that you can have, otherwise it's really hard to respond to everything in time. Let's um, get rid of those trees, those trees as well, a um, little bit of these as well. And we need some more stone as well because all the stone is gone, so let's just um, cut away all of this stone right there and this stuff right there. That should give us a nice stockpile again to work with. I think right now we are, yeah we have a lot of firewood and iron ore so the iron ore can be used for tools so I might also want to get a blacksmith pretty soon because almost everyone is out of tools now and that means they will do their job very slowly so let's have a look at that as well actually let's um, smithing blacksmith used to create new tools from wood and iron I don't think I need a smelter for it just yet but that is also something that got added by the mod you have smelters and then you get uh, better iron instead of raw iron. This leaves one, sp one space of road in between, yeah. No, that's fine. Let's uh, draw this road in between and then one in the back there as well. That looks fine to me. They need a lot of stone for it. We need six builders for what? For just this? No. This only requires two builders. So what else? Ah, there's like four builders for this. And then the road is another job for builders to do, so that will be assigned one one job as well. So I think when the roads are done, the this requirement should pop down to five or something. So it needs to do just a little bit of road as well. Pretty curious to see if that's how it actually works. It's probably going home to eat. <laughs> Our only builder. 
Alright, let's bring some firewood. Looks like. Right, so we have two girls. That's not good. What about this house? We have one boy that's 11. He's a gatherer of 11 years old. That's fine. Let's uh, also build another house. Because things are starting to happen now. So, no. No, 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 no. I don't want this. I want... Um, like I said, I wanted to have some houses over here. Closer to, to the job. So, let's see if we can build one starting there. Yeah, this, this will be fine. Marion is almost grown up. Newell is old enough to get a wife, but we don't have any girls, so Celista will probably be the next woman to grow up. And um, that's fine, so this can be put on hold for just a little bit. The reserve of logs is low. Yeah, I know. We need to cut down some of the stuff. So this is 20 out of 20 logs. 50 uh, out of 105 lumber, that's fine. Almost enough stone. So as soon as the lumber is done, this will just... Um, all the lumber from here will just be brought over there. And once I have enough, I might make a little bit extra lumber and then pause the pr production of it. And maybe focus on something else for a while. A child named Kareen was born. Okay. Ah, yeah, in this house. To Dominican on a Dallas and usually these people have about two or three children I think sometimes only one all right now these two people they had two children but they moved out like the first child moved out so yeah sure the logs is low yes I know I'm working on it give me some time I already ordered a deconstruction of these now I thought I did. Yeah. Right. Not a lot of ha a lot of stuff is happening because all the all the laborers are busy doing something else. Probably mm -hmm. gathering food, finding someplace warm, visiting the mm -hmm. herbalist. Yeah, because they're getting quite sick. I need some herbs as well, but I don't have enough people to get all of these things that I need. That's quite annoying, actually. Um, let's see, resource production? No. One of these places is going to have, like, a herbalist in it. Crop fields, cow fields, transparent fields, food refining. Is it in here? Orphan ship, hunting blind, tidal pool. No. Tinneries, butcher stalls, animal pens. No, it's not in there. Foresters and logging. No. It's in one of these places, but it's um ah health and healing hospital used to heal diseases and the herbalist apothecary. An apothecary creates medicine and remedies from a wide, if unsavory, range of ingredients. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. But I need a herbalist, and that's like I'm going. I'm going to have enough um, herbalist with just um, only one herbalist is enough. Is what I mean. Let's uh, create that one building over there as well. And I really want one of these children to grow up. Salisa should grow up pretty soon. But all of these people are busy. Let's create. Let's increase the builders, and also increase the priority. Of, um, of the house so they can move in together and start having babies. Um, how is there 480 venison? We're still low on stored food though, so we're just barely making enough food to, to feed our people. It's uh, interesting. This is still not a big priority, apparently. I need people to cut down resources, but nobody's actually doing it, so... It's annoying. Oh, Marion has become an adult, is working as a laborer, but he was a boy, I think. Where is he? Yeah, he's a boy. So I've got two, 
two boys waiting for a wife. Probably knew what is going to get her first because he's the first one to grow up. Denzi is growing up pretty soon as well, but he's also a boy. Salissa has become an adult. Nice. That's good. Now I need to have um, some extra rocks, so let's gather up these rocks here as well. Because I want this house to be done as soon as possible, so... We have a few extra workers now, which is good. It's useful. Let's pause this one for now, so they won't bring the stone here first. I mean, there's so many things I would like to have right now. Like, I would like to have a woodcutter in this area as well, so he can start replenishing trees and cutting old ones down and stuff like that. And then we'll have a steady supply of trees that will grow back. Which these won't if I just cut them down. And, um... Yeah, there's going to be a limit to how much stuff I can cut down, you know? It's like, I can cut this little clump of trees trees down, I could cut this down. But then I need to stop, because then, I, then I'm going to cut into the old growth over here, and then I, I won't be gathering as much um, onions and ginger and blueberries and mushrooms and all that stuff. So, yeah. I mean, so many things I'd like to have, but I just don't have the people to do it, you know? Alright, that's... Um, they're really slow on this, so let's increase the priority a few times. Hopefully that stacks, I'm not sure if that priority actually stacks or not. Probably doesn't, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> what are my builders? Picking up resources. Getting something to eat. And then the other one is picking up resources as well. Seven out of eight stone. So we only need one more stone and then they can start building the house. Yeah, usually you should have had these five houses at the beginning of the first year. Ideally, then you would have houses for everyone. Fernando the woodcutter died during childbirth. Damn, that is really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that, sadly. Yeah, just imagine if I had like a natural disaster pop up now, like if a tornado hit my town and then some people got sucked up by it, then I would have been screwed because I couldn't do anything anymore. And then it would have it would have taken even longer to recover from that. So that would take the fight out of pretty much everyone. <laughs> Fifty-five out of one hundred and five lumber. All of the other materials are there though, so that's good. What are these things? Are these herbs? Th those might be herbs, actually, so if I remove those resources, that might give me some stuff that people might heal themselves with a little bit. That would be really nice. There's a few over here as well. A child named McKaylin was born. Alright. Ah, this house is getting close to being completed, so that's, that's, that's good. How are my girls looking? Teresia is almost grown up, so that's, that's, that's good. So we should get another house then. One right next to this one. But I really need the blacksmith to be finished as well, because... Uh, all these people working with without tools are just so slow, and then other things might not be finished in time. And, uh so so annoying. The average health seems to be going up a little bit again, so I think that's the venison kicking in, providing a little bit more um, health to my people. Newell moved in. Why not? Uh, where's the girl? Was that the girl who died? Really? Oh, wait, the structure's being upgraded? Why? I didn't want this to be upgraded. Did I actually accidentally click the button? Damn it. Alright, so apparently this can be paused for now because we still need one girl to grow up and move in with Newell. That's that's really annoying. How did that happen? So Theresia will move in with, with him probably. Uh, do I can I cancel this? Reclaim. Stop the removal of resources. Stop destroying this building. Okay. 
Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Reserve of food is low. Again. Yeah. I realize. Okay, let's uh, increase one more hunter. And have two laborers, two builders, and three hunters. That should be, that should be better, I think. Maybe get a fishery next. And build um, a storage barn over here as well. I really don't want to, though, but... Yeah, if that's what it takes, then that's what we'll have to do. Alright, let's, um... Need more rocks to be cut down. I ordered the cutting down of some rocks, but it just isn't happening quite yet. Theresia has become an adult and is working as a laborer. She's working... Ah, she, <laughs> she immediately switched to being a gatherer because it is the closest job to her. See, this is what the game does automatically. They automatically switch jobs to whatever is closest to them, so they have as little travel time as possible. That's quite good, actually. Otherwise, you might have had, like, hunters hunters and gatherers um, living in this house, for example, and they'd have to walk all this distance. And then you'd have, like, a fisher working here, and then he'd have to walk over here. But now the game will automatically make, like, fishers in this house, and then hunters and gatherers in these houses over here. That's a lot better. Right, let's um, increase the priority of this a few more times because I really want this to be finished soon. I can bring some iron ore over, I have enough of that. 51 stone as well. So when is our next girl growing up? The next one should be Lifali, I think. Yeah, and then Kareen is 5, so few more years since she can be married to someone as well. Theresia moved in with Newell, so they'll be having a baby soon. And it's easy to keep track of this now, but um, at some point it's going to get harder and harder because um, there's going to be enough families that I cannot keep track of all the uh, all the people of like uh, a marriageable age so that's where the town hall comes in really handy as well because it will give me an overview of all the statistics of the town it will tell me how many families there are how many families are have have a house of their own so i can just say as a god it's just like four families without a home so i can order the construction of four more houses but i think i'm slowly getting to the point as well where i'm debating the usefulness of allowing nomads into my town because I'm already very low on stored food so I don't know if it's actually going to be practical or not to have more people there right, let's have some people yeah some my two builders are working on the on the blacksmith and I'll use my third laborer to, to make a blacksmith out of him and he can make some tools out of simple um, logs and iron ore and then probably what I want to do is make um, a woodcutter next, but I also need a fishery to get some fish going. Food is the number one priority here for now. So, yeah, I'll just be focusing on that instead, actually. And just look how slow this job is going because I don't have any tools. Like, everything is just... Uh, and maybe, actually, these people will be faster at gathering food as well as soon as they start to get tools again. So maybe the amount of stored food will go up as soon as the uh, the blacksmith is starting to make some tools again. We'll see. I hope so, at least. Because I think basically every job, not just construction and, and wood cutting and stuff, is getting... Wow, look at Win Windtone Wall. That is a really, really strange name. He's very unhappy and he's very unhealthy. So yeah, I'd also like to have the... Um, the herbalist, at least one herbalist, gathering some herbs for people to, to use. Looks like I have 10 medicines stored, so they can start, yeah, 10 herbs, so that's probably all the little things that I cut down over here, if they actually started to do that. Not sure. Probably they cut down a few. Come on, people. They're so slow. <laughs> but yeah, like, like I said in the last episode, this is basically the, the equivalent of hammering nails into a wall with your bare fists. So, you know, the graphics show they have a tool, but they don't have a tool. There is no, there is just no graphics of people working without tools, I think. But 
so yeah, in due time, like they've been working on this close to a year now, I think. How is our food or our hunting cabin doing? Previous season, 480 venison. Again, 15 leather and 3 bone meal. I'm not actually sure what you use bone meal for, but probably has some use at some point. They gathered up quite a lot of food. Looks like it's close to a thousand food per season. Nice. Right, so my blacksmith is done. He's going to make some rough tools with log and iron ore. So you can make better tools, iron tools with iron, but then you need a smelter as well. And I don't have the people to spare to do that, to do that just now, so... Let's uh, see how our girl is doing. She's eight. The other one is seven, so she'll be getting... Uh, of a marriageable age pretty soon but first let's um yeah i want i want this to be a priority now as well let's um make sure we get the the herbalist going even though we have 10 medicine nobody seems to be really using it that's really strange because their health is really bad um yeah let's create up to 50 tools that's fine. I wonder for how long I've been playing. Let me just check Steam real quick. 32 minutes. Okay, you know what? I'll, um, I'll put a cut into this episode right here, and then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I'd say first, actually. <laughs> That's always a good, uh, good strategy. Say first, safe often. Alright, see you guys ne next time.